Good afternoon. Today is February 6th, 2015. And I just wanted to come on uh, today and give a little bit of my background and testimony. Um, uh, I've talked in the past about uh, martial arts, yoga, and meditation, and I've gotten some comments uh, before about, you know, how it's, you know, meditation is good and you know, there's people practicing quote-unquote Christian yoga and um, and they're practicing martial arts and that it's good. And uh, so I just wanted to, to come on and give you a testimony about my experience and um, the truth about that. So uh, for several years I practiced uh, martial arts and meditation and uh, practiced yoga on and off uh, during that time too. And um, uh, at the height of me practicing martial arts, I was meditating about an hour a day. And um, and sometimes I would practice meditate twice a day. Um, but uh, when you practice meditation uh, in conjunction with martial arts, you're taught the Buddhist practice, at least that's what I was taught. And uh, it's an emptying of your mind and there's a breathing technique and that technique is uh, to awaken the kundalini energy. And uh, the kundalini is also uh, called the snake or the serpentine energy. So that should give you a clue of uh, the source of that <laughs> and um, uh, when I was practicing it I uh, went on a week-long meditation retreat and it was a silent meditation retreat so there was no talking there was no electronic devices no uh, cell phone no uh, TV no computer no books nothing it was just meditation walking meditation eating and sleeping. So around day five, um, I was walking in the courtyard and uh, walking around the building that we were staying in. And um, I just felt this anxiety, anxiousness inside of me. So I began to walk quicker. And uh, it just felt something around me, uh, like in the spirit realm really didn't understand um, too much about about it um, but I felt uneasy so I began walking quickly 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 and then after about 10-15 minutes I stopped and I let out a yell or a scream or something kind of in between the two of them and at the time, I thought, oh, I'm having this great release. And uh, unbeknownst to me, I actually was becoming indwelled with an um, evil, unholy spirit. And um, if you have, if you practice uh, meditation or Buddhist meditation or have read about it, um, people have manifestations, um, similar manifestations. And so awakening is uh, what people try to achieve on their way to enlightenment. And during awakening, you can have this uh, peace. And um, so this is what I had. I had this sense of peace, uh, oneness with nature. Um, like almost like you could feel the pulse of the earth. Uh, you could see the space in between objects. I know that seems sounds odd, but you're actually um, fascinated by the space in between things. I know it's very interesting, right? So, uh, so I had all that happen to me, and so I'm thinking, wow, hey, I'm on the road to enlightenment. You know, I've had an awakening, and I'm on my way. Um, it wasn't until, you know, I 
was brought into the fold of the Lord here um, just over a year ago that I really realized that um, you know I, I'm I'm now demonized I'm full of these demons and I need actually deliverance and so um, for the people who are Christians who are listening to this <clears throat> So spirit-filled believers of the Holy Spirit, um, when you know we were we're taught to cast out the demons and set the people free and um, and give them deliverance. So when witnessing to a person and about deliverance, um, you know you can sweep them clean and cast them out in the name of Jesus. But um, if they're not, they don't have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Just after that. Um, Things that have been cast out can come back, and so um, you know it looks for a place to dwell. So, and it can bring back some of its friends too. I mean, God gets all the glory when people are delivered and set free and are delivered from that, and uh, it, it's the person's decision at that moment in time after they're they're delivered or just before they're delivered to accept the Lord Jesus. But um, just so that you're aware, you know, their meditation is being done in schools. And, um, you know, they have all types of scientific evidence that it's good for you. You know, they're doing CT scans and, and stuff and, and saying, oh, the, this is more peaceful. And, um, you know, that they're having their students do it and they seem to be more peaceful. And they're having students practice yoga and you know, which are all positional worship poses um, to different entities. So um, if your children are doing this, then they're practicing the occult. So just so, so that you're aware, then indwelling of these spirits, they're opening themselves up to the indwelling of these different spirits. So um, just so that you're aware of what's going on and um, how dangerous that practice should be. I just felt compelled to share that with you today. So may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with you. And uh, blessings. <laughs>